What's up, you guys? Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our yeah, channel yeah, today. Yeah. You guys, we hope you're all having a fantastic day. Oh, yeah. We are starting our day out here at our pool. And, babe, <laughs> when was the last time we were at our pool? It was a long time ago. It's probably been at least over <laughs> a month, I want to say. I know. You guys, our marina is so full. You can see, like, yeah. what this will be because I think it is the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. It actually starts today, and it goes, I think, for the next five days. It's yeah. Like, we are super excited. We're going to be <laughs> heading there here in a couple of days. So I think everyone's kind of in town. This is, like, the booming time for Fort Lauderdale. It's yeah. Crazy. But you guys, before we jump into today's video, a huge thank you for all the sweet messages and prayers about our little Finley. You guys, he is doing better. We haven't heard back on his test results yet though, so we should be hearing back hopefully today or tomorrow, but fingers crossed, it was nothing too serious. But he is acting way more like himself. I took him on a walk this morning. He was running all around, chasing lizards, chasing squirrels. So I'm really hopeful that it's nothing serious. You guys, we lucked out. We have the entire pool, or I should say, Philip has the entire pool to himself right now. And the reason why he's the only one is because it's freezing cold in there. <laughs> I don't. I have not felt it yet. They keep saying how cold it is. I don't really believe them. It's that cold. Well, let's just say this. Usually it's heated, and I think because of construction, maybe they forgot to turn it on. I have no idea. But he said they recently turned it on while he's been out here but it's still like ice cold. I mean, it is, and it's like 80 outside, so it's not super, super hot, but I mean, it's warm with the sun, but so. no, the water is actually like freezing cold. Freezing cold? <laughs> I don't know. It's like the type like where you literally jump in and like take your breath away. Really? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> we were asking Phil if he's been on these little floaties. Approve? Yeah, you guys, we talk about these all the time, but if you have any new to our channel, these are our favorite pool floats. They roll up, they're like netted, as you can see. You can yeah. float them that way on your back. Anyways, those are our favorite. Speaking of our favorite, I also wanted to show you my new Sojo sunglasses. <laughs> I actually got these before our cruise because I knew we were going on the cruise, so I wanted some new sunnies. You guys know I love Sojo so much. I think almost every single pair of sunglasses I yeah, own are Yeah, literally like Sojo's. every single pair. I think there's one pair that's not. I actually have had these ones before but I lost them these are like the tortoise ones and I also I brought up my other two pair I got for this and while she's showing you those a lot of you guys were questioning whether or not they have guy sunglasses and they do this is actually a pair of guy sunglasses what I love about them they're super lightweight they're polarized UV 400 I mean you guys know that I used to have a sunglasses company so when it comes to sunglasses I'm pretty picky and, and they're so affordable like yeah. I feel like they're so high quality they look awesome but if you lose them break them whatever like they're so affordable which is awesome that's what I love about all right them. all right Let's see what you okay, got so here. Those. Yeah, all right, all right. We Helper got, pick. These are kind of fun. These are kind of fun, yeah, a little right. different. They're very, very they're different, yeah. Fun. I thought some chunky sunglasses. So we had you guys fun. vote last time we did this, and I'm curious this time around, vote, which ones do you guys like? But yeah, so number one, which you already saw, number two, which he has on, and let's see number three. Ooh la la. Number three, these are actually polarized, you guys. Oh, have, like, and look at the design four, on the side. Yeah, but these are for like running, athletic. They're super light, they like fit pretty, to my face. Yeah. So if you're looking for I a do good like pair that of like workout sunglasses uh -huh. outside, these are awesome too. Anyways, you guys vote down below one, two, or three. Which one you guys like? All of them. <laughs> I think they're all cute. Yeah. But if you guys are interested, we do have a discount code. It's Jared and Brett 10. You get 10% off. They have some cute styles. I know. And we will actually go ahead and link them all down below for you, including the pair that I'm wearing. Oh, look how handy. <laughs> Enough of that. I say we get into this beautiful water, this ice cold water. I think I'll jump in first and then get Brittany's reaction. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an ice bath. <laughs> Philip, are you gonna jump in? Going like this. <laughs> yeah, but now you're all dry. Oh, gosh, it's so cold. Oh gosh. She said that she was gonna jump in. She said it. I'll keep my word. Okay. Here right, you go. Phil, we gotta go all the way under. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Look at her. You can't even talk. <laughs> So how baby how was it? <laughs> Brittany like got out of the water and Phillips like she came and talked, she's like gasping for air. <laughs> Oh man. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in here, I'm fine. I'm, these boys, you guys, they can't handle anything. They jump in the
right, you guys, we're doing a little bit of testing, experimenting. <laughs> so Philip, the guy over there in the goggle. <laughs> we want to do something really fun and exciting, but in order to do so, we got to test out his snorkel goggle just because, well, he's got a beard, and usually those don't seal very well. Yeah, they don't seal very well. So we're gonna do a few little tests. He's first gonna try just our regular mask, see if it works at all if that doesn't work we're going to plan b yes if that doesn't work we got some goggles a nose plug and he's going to use this snorkel and we're going to try that he's staying down for a while he's staying down i guess that's good then that's good well you don't have any water you don't what no way Wow. Guys, that just opened up a world of possibilities for us. All right, we're still gonna try the plan B option right now with just like the regular swim goggles and the snorkel by itself. It looks like it's actually going well, that's great. What do you prefer more? I might like this better. Really? Gross, I just slobbered all over that. <laughs> all right guys, we just finished up at the pool. It was a lot of fun, but you know, all that sun it made us want a nice cool treat. So we decided to come in here to Vampire Penguin. One of the reasons why we love this place is because it's actually four times less calories than like frozen yogurt, which is always a plus, and it tastes amazing. Plus, they allow dogs in here, which is really cool, and for every dog that you bring in, they give you like a free puppy treat, which is really cool. Like, it's something that Finn actually loves. It's peanut butter. like it dude peanut butter snow is very good yes it is in fact that is the type that they gave finn which was awesome he licked that right up and speaking of awesome stuff you guys we got some really awesome good news concerning finn we just got the best news about finn so he does not have any parasites yeah. or heartworms so negative results baby i know he actually got the test results back for heartworms yesterday but we did not know that they told us both of those things so that is such good news yeah, yeah heck yeah this I guy know. is feeling good looking okay. good speaking of looking good hello look at my wife right uh, now yeah, I wash my hair i know it's a shocker <laughs> Down, everyone, it's not gonna fall <laughs> but seriously thank you again for all the sweet messages about Finn and all the love we're just so happy it's nothing more serious but now we have his heartworm prevention medicine we're gonna stay on top of that and just make sure this little guy's healthy we are going to dinner tonight at one of our favorite places Greek Island they have the most delicious Greek food so we're really excited to take Philip Jared and Philip are just parking the car right now. They dropped me off. I'm gonna run in, grab a table. You can probably hear in the background. This place is always busy because it's so good. Awesome. I think another place we have a place in mind that we can't do. Yeah, we have more up our sleeve, you guys. Know. It'll be it'll be a surprise, surprise restaurant. Now we are coming back to Sloan. We actually came here the other night. This was, Phil was obsessed with the ice cream. Yes, yes. it is. And I just found out they do ports and pints. So oh, they do? I'm gonna do that. They do ports and pints. So this place is so fun, you guys. I mean, look at the decor in here. It's bright, fun. So this is in a little town called Lauderdale by the Sea. So technically it's not Fort Lauderdale, but it's like 10 minutes from where we live. Phil's favorite last name was a cookie. Let me see. Yeah, where was that? Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. So Oreos homemade chocolate chip cookies. Oh my goodness. One of my favorites here is the strawberry cheesecake. Oh nice. Okay you guys, not only are we ordering ice cream, we did not get the cup, we did not get the cone. These two got a pint and a quart of ice cream. Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Hey, it's actually kind of smart. It's kind of smart. I got a quart and I got a two scoop for now. That's the ultimate smart move because you got to put the cord away for later and eat the one on the way home there. So these two, they're thinkers. So is this cookie dough cookie too? Yeah. And that's cookie dough cookie? Yeah. What kind did you get, babe? That one's cookie monster. Oh, cookie monster. Thank you. Yeah, that one's really good. I should have gotten that one. What did you get? 
I got cookie dough, but now I'm ready to collect it. Oh, good thing Philip got the court. Maybe he'll give you a bite. Yeah, I'll share. <laughs> yeah, that's really what good friends if do. If we run out, we can always come back. <laughs> <laughs> I've been we'll be back here before the end of Philip's trip. Look at these two best friends sharing ice cream. <laughs> wow, that's a it's, great it's, friend, Philip. You honestly, are a great like, friend to share your ice cream. I really regret what I got. Really? <laughs> the chocolate chip cookie dough is way good. You guys, not only does Jared open my door, <laughs> he opened. I want, Philip always wants to sit in the back and I say, no, you sit in the front so you can take in all the views. But so we have like a little cooler inside of the car. Yeah. Philip is so concerned about making sure that the <laughs> he just wants there. us to get home so the ice cream doesn't melt. Yeah, stop blocking. Philip, we're worried. coming. We're coming. And just like that, we're back. And I think all of us had food babies, but we are stoked to see and be reunited with this little Our guy. Favorite little puppy. Ew. Yeah. What's that, dude? doing good. We've been playing with him. He's been chasing <laughs> favorite little monkey. Yeah. He's back to his normal little happy self, which is so good to see. Yeah. Comfy nerds. Philip, he is still Finn's favorite. It's really weird. I'm actually quite a bit jealous. <laughs> that's okay. Anyways, make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not. Come on back and until then, we love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.